So tonight I'll sing a song to all my friends Also to those we won't be seeing again To those I knew and those I still adore And I want to see once more I just pray that you will love me and trust me Laugh with me and cry with me Spend those silent times with me Love me evermore Love me evermore You and I were lovers Our dreams were not sound I did never mean to make you cry Friendship is both fascinating and beautiful. Thanks to this power, the boy was able to escape the bandit's clutches. And yet my friend said to me, There is nothing so inconstant as a human heart. Albert, come on! Time to wake up! I can't believe you were still in bed. I have an important visitor arriving today, and I've been really busy getting ready. You didn't have to come if you didn't want to. <laughs> Who's the visitor? Someone who did me a favor on Luna. Oh, I see now. It's that fake Count something or other, right? You haven't even met him. How do you know he's fake? Oh, speaking of visitors, Chateau Renault said that he's bringing someone with him. <laughs> Why are you smirking? You know, Albert, you've got to be the most perfect target for a con artist in the whole of Paris. What? <laughs> She's losing her temper. Oh. What are you angry about? I'm angry? I thought I was just enjoying our drive. We're not in a rally race, you know. Oh, that's right. You love puttering around at a slow crawl with no destination in mind. Behind the wheel and in life. My life is none of your business, all right? Get out now! Sure, I'll get out. I don't want to ride with you anyway. What are you talking about? We're already here. You know, for the life of me, I can't figure out why you and I are still engaged. Really? Then maybe you should ride into Bray's car on the way... Oh, brother. Hey, would you please be careful? Are you okay? Yes. Hey! Albert! Over here! Come take a look at this! Hey! Jeez, are women the only thing you can handle, Mr. Big Shot, Private Secretary? Hey, every dull drive needs a little bit of stimulation, doesn't it? I mean, next to me is a hack reporter, and in the back seat is a couple who just got engaged. Hmm. Uh. That 
was amazing. It was nothing. I was in a special forces unit in the army. Muscle reinforcement processing, huh? I've only heard rumors about it. Thank you for your help. Uh huh? <laughs> um, I'll get it myself. Thank you. What is your name, miss? My name is Valentine. Hello. My name is... <laughs> hey! Hi, Maximilian! I'm sorry I'm late! There I was, out on a dangerous recon, and suddenly I stumbled into an enemy nest. And then, when I dropped my favorite grenade, I went as white as a sheet. From inside the hole, I could hear the Eridanians <laughs> making eerie, threatening, clicking noises. Anyway, I'm not one who subscribes to the theory that they're a sentient race. Uh, uh, try a piece. Vicious, it's very good. Creatures. Thank you, Miss Valentine. The rest of the story is rather graphic, and I don't want to go into detail with these ladies present. Mm. But just once, delicious. Round up all of those alien rights proponents and send them into a nest mm. to have a nice chat with them. You're a lucky man, my friend. Once you and Valentine are married, you'll be able to dine like this every day, huh? Hmm. Um, where was I? Oh, that's right. Just then, I thought I was done for. And who do you suppose showed up then? None other than this man, Space Cavalry Captain Maximilian Morel, the man I owe my very life to. You're quite a man to save a complete klutz who managed to blindly stumble his way onto a battlefield. So, Captain Morel, where do you hail from? My family makes its home in Marseille. That's a pretty rough place. And you? Paris, of course. The old town area, admittedly. The town of Marseille. What sort of a place is it? When I was young, it was a beautiful harbor town filled with sightseers and tourists. Well now, it's not a place that a lady should even consider venturing into. up here in a long time. Oh, what a great breeze. Those clouds look a bit menacing though, don't you think? What's the matter? Something interesting catch your eye? Why do you suppose there's a need to divide the world up with city walls and borders? The ugliness of the outside world exists for the purpose of making the beauty of our kingdom stand out. Well, that may be so, but I assure you there's plenty of great things outside these walls. Don't you think we should try to open our eyes a little more and see the real world? Oh, have you grown up a little now that you're back from your trip? I suppose you're right. So go right ahead and take on all the troubles that exist outside the walls. That should quiet those stinging pangs of boredom of yours for a little while at least. Now this is what we should be looking at. The High Court of Justice, Dangalar's Bank, and the place where your father works. Space Force's headquarters, the Triangle of Parisian Power. That is the true great thing that we should inherit, don't you think? To me, it feels like we're the ones who've been sealed in. I am no longer all alone wallowing in abject solitude. For I am now surrounded by the Furies, the goddesses of vengeance. In the cold bosom of the darkness, I awaited the dawn. And once dawn came, I cursed my flesh until night fell once more. I even prayed that I would lose my sanity. But those prayers went unheeded. Nothing changed. 
And when I strove for the peacefulness of death, the devil's cold, pitiless hand grabbed hold and held me back. Well, it won't be long now. What a terrible drive that was. Maybe it was punishment for skipping the cabinet meeting. Have candidates for the next president been chosen yet? The word on the street is that His Excellency Morserf is the frontrunner. You must have heard a few things from your father, haven't you, Albert? You know, you should really watch your step around Beauchamp, Maximilian. He's a terrible man who will use even his friend's scandals as fodder for articles. That's what they call impartial journalism. I read your articles all the time but I do not approve of the content. I get that all the time. Where are the ladies? They went home because their dresses were totally soaked. Chateau Renault's antique, too. If they'd said something, I would have given them a lift home. That'd be just like tossing food to a monkey. Hmm. So, the Count of Monte Cristo. I can't say I've heard of him. There's nothing on him at the cabinet secretariat. Probably an alias, or... A pretender, or a con man? I'll thank you to refrain from idle gossip about an honored guest of the Morserf home. Where'd you say that you ran into this honored guest of yours again? At Luna's carnival, when we were there last spring. Apparently the honored son of the family was abducted by bandits. Now that's too funny. So, Elbert, were you seduced by one of Luna's wily vixens? <laughs> Damn it to hell! And then the Count came in and rescued me before the kidnappers could kill me. I suppose that you really do owe your life to the Count then. It's clear that he's kind, as well as incredibly wealthy and probably well connected. And what about the distinct possibility that this millionaire's pouch was full of forged bills? Look at this! If he didn't come from noble birth, do you think he would have a watch as beautiful as this one? When con artists are setting a trap in order to win people's trust, they often use trinkets just like that. He's not a con artist. He commands an enormous spaceship, and he travels with aliens and a beautiful woman from eastern space. He's free from the rule of any government, and he mingles freely with people of all classes and walks of life. In everything he does, he breaks with established tradition. That's right. And then, once night falls, he wanders the darkness in search of the lifeblood of maidens. Yeah, well, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if he did. The Count has a dark and ruthless side to him that doesn't seem to care at all about human life. Shut up, Franz! Albert, just calm down. Hey, wait. There was a case of a sailor who contracted a local disease on some planet, and went around sucking all the blood he could find, wasn't there? You know you should be careful, Albert. I hear they enjoy the blood of virgin boys almost as much as girls. So you think he's a vampire or something? It's a lot more plausible than lunar bandits. <laughs> yeah, or kind-hearted rich people. His Excellency, the Count of Monte Cristo, Monsieur. Show him in at one. I beg your pardon, but the door was open, so I just entered. It's an honor to see you again. The honor's mine, Viscount Morserf. Please, sir, I preferred you call me Albert. Surely you and I are well beyond those formalities by now. As promised, allow me to introduce you to my friends. You already know Franz. This is Lucien de Bray. He's a shrewd civil servant who already holds a key position in the Interior Ministry. This is Beauchamp. He's a newspaper reporter. He can tell you anything you might want to know about Paris. 
It's not a mainstream paper. It's more of a third-rate gossip sheet. That is most fascinating. This is Cavalry Captain Maximilian Morel. He's a big hero of the Eridanus campaign. Nice to meet you, sir. Ah, the very paragon of a faithful, brave soldier. Oh, you know Captain Morel, Your Excellency? Not at all. Count, we've heard that you've come to us from somewhere very far away. You're trying to interview him already? Don't annoy our guest. Look, I'm just doing my job, okay? On many worlds, the taking of photographs is seen as a vile and reprehensible custom. I must ask you to abstain. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. In the course of visiting many foreign worlds when I was a sailor, I've become thoroughly tainted by the diverse customs of other cultures. I'm afraid that I must seem like quite the uncivilized savage to the good people of Paris. So what sorts of places have you been, sir? I have traveled to many, many places. To eastern space, to northern space, even to the very core of the galaxy. And what about the Imperium? Of course, to a sailor, there are no such things as borders. But couldn't that be considered treason against the state, sir? I see no reason to swear loyalty to people who will not extend their hands to protect me. Would you not agree with that, sir? I agree that you possess rather bold opinions. <laughs> yes, true enough. I suggest that you experience being cast out into the vast universe all alone as I did. You would soon see that the only one you can count upon is yourself. <sighs> Set the table for tea at once. So, where do you hail from, sir? I came into this universe from a distant land that is far beyond your imagination. Oh, a place that you'd rather we didn't know about? Franz, don't be rude! If we're going to be associating with the Count as friends, shouldn't we at least know where the man comes from? That's quite understandable. The very reason why distinguished gentlemen such as yourselves are interested in what I do or say is because of the air of mystery surrounding me, is it not? Were that not the case, surely a rustic aristocrat from the frontiers of space would not have been given a seat at your table. <laughs> well, you do have us there. But... That's exactly why my friends and I want to know more about you and your background. Naive as ever, I see. <laughs> it... Peppo! Is something the matter, Albert? Huh? Um, no, nothing. What are you up to? I wound up here. After you left, I quit the bandit gang. So, I made my way here to Paris to see if I could find work. Okay, but what are you doing here? Why, I followed you here, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying, it's just a coincidence. There happened to be an opening, that's all. I want you to tell me something, Peppo. I'm impressed. You remembered my name, Albert. Are you planning to stay here for good? Can't I? Well, it's... how can I put it to you? Look, don't worry about it. Let's just agree to keep each other's secrets, okay? Are you interested in learning that man's real identity? <laughs> don't worry about it too much. He's nobody special. So what shall we do? I was thinking that we might all go to Le Queen. No thanks. I think I'm gonna pass on that. I think I'm gonna pass too. What the hell? Hmm? It's the Count of Monte Cristo's voice. Yes, yeah, so what's the big deal? It isn't on the recording. So what sorts of places have you been, sir? And what about the Imperium? It's probably a small malfunction. So, is this a malfunction too? What an absolutely beautiful woman. Oh, thanks. That's my mother. She's rather young in this portrait. This vista is that of Marseille, is it not? She likes paintings like this. 
I really don't know why she chose that place as the setting. It's magnificent. Actually, my father hates this painting. He was gonna take it down and burn it, but we placated him by hanging it in my room. Edmund. Is something wrong with it? Not at all. I'm afraid it's time I took my leave. Oh no, please don't go. I was hoping you'd stay and have dinner with us. My mother and father have really been looking forward to meeting you. And if you're interested in paintings, my mother and father have many interesting pieces in their collection. My. What a stirring painting this is. This is my father's. The ones that my mother has collected are over here. Oh, this must be your visitor. mother's past, which I never knew. The men in her past. Adults who live in the past. Next, Gankutsuo, The Count of Monte Cristo, Act 4, A Mother's Secrets. Bide your time and hold out hope.